All right, folks. Wanted to take a few minutes here to do a video on my repair kit that uh, sometimes I EDC, sometimes it stays in my car, sometimes it goes in my camping bag or uh, my get-home bag or whatever. But uh, this is where I keep a lot of the things that I use to repair or do work on a daily basis. Um, and I've upgraded. The last video I did, this is, this is version 2.0. I used a Maxpedition uh, EDC pocket organizer, and I've outgrown that. So this is a Maxpedition Fatty, and uh, not making a review about the Maxpedition Fatty, but I will talk a little bit about why I chose it. And then um, I just put this uh, Betsy Ross flag on here because I am an American from one of the original 13 colonies. It's not normally on there, but uh, I put it on there for this video. And yeah, just taking a look at this Maxpedition bag. You have a, a uh, web pouch here on the front that has some Velcro. It has a hook and loop pattern on the front here where you can put patches or whatever for whatever type of kit you're using. It has a molly in the back, uh, three rows, and you can hook this to whatever you need to. Uh, it has this very durable box stitched nylon webbing here. And it's made out of Maxpedition's typical 100 denier uh, Cordera nylon. And you can take a look, and this thing is uh, a little bit beat up on the corners and stuff like that. YKK zippers. The construction on these things is uh, impeccable. And you can pick one of these cases up for about $25 on Amazon. It's great organization. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up and take a look inside. And uh, any comments around things that could be removed, added, or whatever uh, are greatly appreciated. So anyhow, just taking a quick look inside, here's what we got. And uh, I'm going to be taking all this out, which is going to be a huge pain in the ass. But uh, I'm doing it for you. So, uh, taking a look first. Just some scissors. These are these are just cheap scissors. But uh, I use scissors all the time. I get these out all the time for cutting paper or cutting strings or trimming something up. But uh, they're very handy. This is a... Uh, if you take a look here, these... these uh, well, I don't even know what... No, elastic... Elastic stitch doing uh, loops are great for, for storage. This is just uh, what I would call like my MacGyver kit. And this has all kinds of things in here. Different size needles, safety pins. It has paper clips. Just what, just whatever I would need to uh, MacGyver something together or sew or stitch something. So this this is very handy. I would recommend anybody do, somebody, do something like that. This is a uh, hot glue stick. And uh, you can heat this up with a lighter and then uh, even warm it up and then you can rub it on on stitching or on a hole on, on a nylon or something like that for repair jobs. Or you can glue stuff together with it. Very handy. Indelible marker in case you need to write something down on something that you don't want to rub off or fade away. Just some super glue. And uh, this, this is getting kind of low. This is a working kit. I use it all the time. Uh, so it's, this is not something that I pack up and stuff away. Um, it's constantly being used and constantly being updated, so it's never done. It's never finished. But uh, this, this, I don't, wanna, don't have so much left. I use this all the time. Uh, I probably need to go buy some more super glue or find some. I'm sure I got some around the house. And then uh, these are pretty handy. I got like a five pack of these a little while back. This is the WD-40 No Mess Pen. And where I live, there's a couple of different sayings. And one of them is, if it moves, and it shouldn't duct tape. If it should move and it don't, WD-40. So I use this for uh, when I work on knives or hinges or just, just anything that needs to be lubed up. And I know somebody's going to come here and be like, that's not lubricant, it's water dispersal. Well, I, I don't know. I use it for lubrication too. And I just have some of these uh, zip ties. Zip ties are, are, are a great tool. This pouch back here is very handy as well. So here is a, uh, a mini pair of, um, of vice grips and I got these in a two pack and uh, they're kind of small but uh, they work well if you need to hold something or pinch something or get a bolt or a nut that uh, doesn't want to cooperate field notes just in case you need to write something down or take notes on something oh this is the uh, I'm having a hard time cadet this is the uh, Swiss Army cadet and uh, it's a very capable I'm making a liar out of me I can't get that stuff out of there it's a very capable um, pocket knife, and I just use it for whenever I need to work on something that needs to be cut or uh, or not. Um, these things work great. I, I was actually so I work in technology. And I was actually doing some work on a laptop, and the laptop uh, had a problem with the on/off button. 
And so I was able to use one of these uh, clothespins to actually pinch down the button to keep the laptop from, sh it was continually shutting off, so I used that. Uh, worked out really well for me. Here in the middle, there's another loop. It's a little bit larger. This is just a, uh, a Stanley pen that has a screwdriver, mm, drivers, uh, Phillips and Flathead uh, of different sizes. And then you can clip it on a short shirt pocket or not, or here's a little bit larger size. But uh, these are really handy. I picked this up at Home Depot for like three bucks. And then I have some bank line in here in case you ever need to tie something down. And then I have uh, just two hanks of Night Eyes reflective cord. And this stuff, I don't think I can do it uh, real justice here, but this stuff reflects like crazy. I've never seen anything like it. It works great. Uh, over here on this side, just a real small, uh, some thread, and, and I think there's some, no, no needles on here, but this is just some thread in case you need to do some stitching, like a sewing kit. Uh, this one here is a, actually upholstery thread, so it's a little bit stronger, it's a little bit, uh, here it goes, extra strong, a little bit more durable, it's 150 yards, I haven't used this, but uh, it could come in very handy if I needed to. And then here is just a quick flashlight. Phoenix EO1. If you don't have Phoenix EO1s, you're missing out. That's all I can say. Here's some Loctite uh, vinyl, fabric and plastic flexible adhesive, and as you can see, this has gotten some use. It's just a really stinky glue that you need to use in a well-ventilated area, but if you need to glue stuff together, this stuff works great. I keep this in here. It uh, is some uh, hex and torx bits. This is the uh, Benchmade knife maintenance kit. And I use this because I EDC knives and, and you need to work on them from time to time. And this works great for tightening up a pivot or a scale or a pocket clip or something. A uh, little piece of beeswax. This works really well uh, for sealing things, uh, waterproofing, just stuff like that. I have a couple of, uh, just here on my desk, a couple balls of beeswax that I just use for different things. So I wanted to go ahead and throw a little bit of it in my repair kit. Admittedly, I don't use it often. This is a, a buddy of mine gave me this. And it's like the Swiss Army knife with chargers. So there is the older, I think, iPhone, iPad 3. Here's USB. This is how you get power into this device. And then uh, this is iPhone 6, maybe. The FireWire, I think is what they call it, or the Fire Charger. And then this would be uh, either mini or micro USB. I can't remember. But... Uh, I keep it in here because I've used it, and sometimes you need to charge stuff up, and this works well. Man, putting all this stuff back in is going to be a pain. Let's see what we got in here. Some duct tape around a uh, hotel key. Oh, here you go. These are great. Totally forgot I had these in here. But this is just like uh, different little night eyes beaners, or some of their, I think they're called nine hooks, and uh, split ring. You never know when you need to use this with uh, things like this to tie or secure something and they just come in handy. Dental floss. <laughs> this isn't just for keeping stuff out from between your teeth but uh, this is actually really good string or cordage that you can use if you need to do something a little bit finer. You can sew with it, you can lash with it, uh, you can do all kinds of stuff. Nothing else in there. This is a nice little zip pocket in addition to the uh, elastic organization here and I think that might be it so anyhow there is uh, the repair kit version 2.0 any questions or comments or uh, advice is welcome thanks everybody